What's something small you can start doing today to better yourself? Try to do a random act of kindness for a stranger every day. So many people see other people's misfortune as the fault. I try to see other people's misfortune as a chance to help. We're a very insular and selfish bunch, it would be nice to see that change as a society. Also, picking up other people's litter always improves my mood. Do your dishes before you go to bed. Waking up with a clean kitchen is a great feeling. Allocate time more directly to maintenance of my body and home. I lost 100 pounds this year. All due to diet. I could be a lot healthier if I added 30 minutes of exercise. Then there's my house. After I lost my wife I had a lot of trouble motivating myself to clean and now certain rooms are really needing it. If I could allocate even just an hour a day to it I would eventually be able to get back to regular maintenance rather than feeling helpless every time I open the door to one of those rooms. Lastly, reading. I desperately want to get back into it and I've succeeded a couple times and loved it. But college broke my spirit of habitual reading and I'm not sure how to get it back. Make a budget and stick to it. It can change your life dramatically for the better. Write down the stuff you've been putting off and schedule yourself time specifically to get them done. It will keep your mind free from having to constantly remind yourself and once the task is completed, you're free. I had the best idea I've ever had two weeks ago and it has been going great. I used to make a to-do list, but it would just make me super anxious and feel overwhelmed seeing everything I have to do. So lately I have been just doing tasks throughout the day and only writing it down when I have done it. Now I get to see progress and accomplishments add up and it's motivating me very well. Call your loved ones, especially the ones who have loved you even through your shit times. First comment I saw without gold. Will prob change soon. This is making gold seem like it's not that special anymore. Forgive your past self and learn from your previous mistakes. Also you can improve others lives by saying thanks, it goes a long way. You can't keep blaming yourself. Just blame yourself once and move on. Homer Simpson Take deep, controlled breaths. Now I'm manually breathing you bitch. I'm becoming insane. Set a schedule. It doesn't have to be set in stone but a general idea of how your day will go will help alleviate stress and anxiety. This is more important than I will ever be able to explain. Plan not only your work day but also your day off. Know when you will do your chore, do it, then enjoy your day. Give someone else a compliment at least once a day. It's as simple as noticing the guy next to you has a stylish tie or that your co-worker's homemade lunch looks tasty. Besides, it always seems to end up making someone's day and the effort required is so, so small. Edit, I'm so proud that this is my most upvoted comment ever beaming face with smiling eyes and thanks for the gold. If it's not natural to pay a random compliment I try to just smile at someone every day. Or really as many people as possible. I smile at people I interact with cashiers, waiters, train workers, etc. Just to pass a little small bit of positivity. If it takes less than a few minutes to do and you're doing absolutely nothing, do it. That's exactly what I started doing about a month ago. Oh my goodness, things aren't looming over me anymore and it feels amazing. I have gotten so much more done at work and home. My wife doesn't have to remind me to do things because I just do them immediately. Even if it is a pain or somebody will be mad, I just do it and move on. Get at least 30 minutes of exercise a day. As simple as taking a walk. This 100x. I'm bipolar and suffer from general anxiety and depression. I was going to therapy and on medication and it was only getting worse. I decided a little over a year ago to switch up my diet and exercise plan. I'm not going to pretend I'm cured by any means but within a week I felt so much better. I've been able to cut back on my therapy and dosage. I started with lifting weights and jogging. It increased my confidence enough to get me into mountaineering it has changed my life. The combination of physical activity and time in nature has been a miracle. 
set a sleep schedule and try to stick with it. Waking up at the same time every day was one of the best things I've started doing. I'm sorry this does not qualify as small. Agreed. My whole life would have to be rescheduled to make real, good time for a nice night's sleep. I could do that, but it's not a small feat. Make more time to hang out with my friends and be there for them. I mean I guess I could try but what if I don't have common interests with your friends? Edit, thanks for the silver, kind strangers. Edit 2, thanks for my first gold, kind stranger who I'm suspecting is the op. Start doing simple exercises that don't require any equipment. Walking, running outside, push-ups, sit-ups. This actually inspired me to go take a walk. I read this comment and said, you know what? A walk does sound nice. I'll take my son and dog and we all get out and do something together. So thanks for this. Edit, wow, thanks for the gold and silver kind strangers. To finally start looking for a therapist. I know it sounds ridiculous but even working up the motivation to go online and search for one is hard. I keep telling myself I'll do it and I'm perfectly capable of doing it and have the time to do it, but then I just don't. Finding a therapist for anxiety and depression caused me so much anxiety that I put it off for years too long. It was almost too late by the time I actually went to one. I should have done it much sooner. Ya yeah, got to take care of your mental health. Start looking right now y'all. Read a book for at least 10 minutes a day. Edit, wow, thanks for the gold. I'm a firm believer that anyone can love reading, they just have to find their genre. I'm currently working on Dostoevsky's The Brothers Karamazov, but a few of my favorites are Austin's Sense and Sensibility, Emma and Pride and Prejudice, Hawthorne's Scarlet Letter, and Saint Exupery's Little Prince. I try to follow Aristotle's idea that it is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. Read fun things, read hard things, but never make your reading list an echo chamber. Challenge your mind and reward yourself with fun reads too. It'll grow your vocabulary, your ability to reason, and your worldview. Steps are off soapbox. Start by writing down a goal, then make a list of small achievable milestones on the way to reaching that goal. While you're writing your goals, just write about the day. I write every day, including goals I want to do for the week, weekend. If I write it down there is a much larger chance I'll get around to doing it. A few years ago I started writing, like journal style, and I found it to be the single most therapeutic exercise I could do. I'm far from a writer, I'm really not good, part of the reason I started to writing was for the practice. Open a new Google Doc, put in the date and entry number one and just write about today. Self-reflection is a lost art that all of us should take part in daily. And you know what, it's not all bad. As I started writing I found that my big problems in life weren't all that big compared to the other challenges I have faced. It's all perspective. It's also really cool being able to look back in time. I have been doing this daily for five years and it has made me such a better person. I don't do it for anyone else, although I did have a date cutely ask, what did you do on the night of blah interrogation style, and I was actually able to answer. She seemed to get a kick out of it. Start putting $20 away from each paycheck into a savings account. Don't look at that money. Don't touch that money. That in money may as well not exist. Repeat every paycheck bumping it up as opportunity affords you. Each time I get a pay rise or a bill payment amount declines I put half of it straight onto that $20. Say my wage goes up 100 per week, 50 of that goes straight into that savings account. Say I pay off my car loan which was 80 a week, 40 of that goes into tar savings. It's money I previously never had so I'm not doing a disservice by putting it away. The other option is to use it to snowball debt. That is use the extra 40 a week to pay off another loan, credit card, etc. till it's gone. Don't worry about what other people think. If you do anything, do it for yourself. I did this. The other day I started wearing my hair in pigtails because they're comfortable and they make me feel nice, even though the general consensus in my social circle is that pigtails suck. I love it. 
It feels so freeing and I feel like I finally found my style. Lame as that sounds. 10 out of 10 this advice is so underrated. Once again, thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like and share the video. We'll see you in the next one.